Hello everybody. Today we're going to be working on the laws of exponents. Now whenever we have variables which contain exponents and have equal bases, we can do certain operations on them. And those operations are called the laws of exponents. You can tell that because it says laws of exponents. This is in a right bullet, by the way. Holy shit ever. Alright, here's one of the first rules. Whenever you are multiply exponent, see what's going on right here. You are just going to add the exponent. So if this right here was two, messed up two, and this was a three, this would basically be two plus three, which would equal x to the fifth. Now, the second one right here is it say you had x, y, and you're going to raise that operation to a power. You will basically apply the exponent to each of them. Like I say, you got to understand this mathematically. It's not going to work just to know what's happening at second day. I'm sorry, we're just not quite there anymore. Alright, so let's think about this way. We got x, y, let's say this was going to the second, okay? That would basically mean x, y times x, y, which calculates to x to the second by y to the second. Y'all understand why that said? That seriously, it's not just it happens because somebody said so. It happens because that's how it is. I'm gonna erase all this crap I drew over here. We'll get to the third one. Alright. Now the third rule is if we have something that's already been raised to an exponent, and we raise that to an exponent, you would multiply those exponents together. So if this was 4 and this was 5, then this would equal x to the 20th. And like I said, you got to think about it this way. x to the m. Why does it keep on doing that? That's actually saying x to the 4th 5 times which would equal x to the 20. It isn't just some guy said, let's just multiply it together. I can't, I can't reiterate this enough. Alright, now the next is if you had x... I'm sorry, my pen's going crazy, say. Alright, different color. Let's see here. La, 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 la. I like pink. That pink's ugly. I like this pink. Say if you had x over y, and that raised to the m power, you would basically just apply that m to the x and to the y. Alright, and those two parts of i. Now, if m is greater than n, then m x to the m would be over x to the n, which would equal x m minus n. And the reverse operation for that one, except you would get 1 over x, um, x to the m minus m. Just understood one there. You're basically just flipping that, okay? All it is. Pretty simple, actually. And here's other properties to exponents. Anything raised to a zero its power is 1. Except there is actually one exception. That is if you had zero to the zero power. That right there would be... Let me think. I'm trying to think of how my teacher put it to me. It will be undefined, basically. Alright. 
Now, any single number or variable is all the way to the first power. Like if you had just five, there's an understood one there. This is going to, it, it seems stupid to mention it now, but it is very important that you understand this. And the reason that is, is because, let's say we had 5 to the 6. That would be 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times, press the button, times 5 times 5 times 5. That's 6 5. Now over here, we have 5 to the first, and that's just plain old 5. It's 5 one time. You see that? Alright, we're almost done here. I know this is tedious. Now here's some basic examples. Alright, everybody. Don't freak out. What's 2 plus 3? 5, lovely. I'm glad most of us listened in our kindergarten class. Alright. Now... What is x4 to the third? 12. All right, most of us listen to third grade, too. And what about xy to the third? All right. What little yawning turn around here? All right, and here's a few more. We worked on this one. Actually, you know what? This was the fifth example that I was trying to say. I know what it is, okay? This, when you have a division problem, what you want to do is you want to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So what's 7 minus 4? 3. Lovely. Lost my train of thought. Alright, well it's 3 now. Whichever one is bigger, that's where you're going to put it. So this would be x to the third over 1. And since everything is understood to be over 1, you don't even have to put that one there. This is just x to the third. Yeah, shut up. Sorry. Now if we were to go down here, we have x to the 5th over x to the 7th. Same thing. We're not doing 5 minus 7. We're actually doing 7 minus 5. Only except since this is going on the bottom, there isn't just nothing on top. That wouldn't make sense at all. There's a 1 there. Alright, that's it for today's lesson. Watch this as many times as you want.